Hello guys, how are you? Maurice Aizawa here. So today in this video, I want to show you a very interesting feature that was aware just a few weeks ago. It's a native functionality from Google Calendar and it's amazing. You can replace your uh, Calendly if you are using it, if you are paying for and you can have everything integrated in just one place. Uh, you can use the free version in your personal Google. If you are using Google Workspace, you can use the uh, version that is like a Calendly in your Google Workspace, including multiple uh, multiple uh, events to schedule, to book a session with you. So this is going to save time uh, in your routine. So let me show you the way that is going to work. I'm going to present in the free version. If, you're, if you have a Gmail uh, account, you can start using it right now. Uh, so let me show you and later I will show you how to set up a new one. OK, so take a look at my screen now. All right. So you can see my calendar and you can see that I have this kind of slot. So in this slot, it's a, a time. It's a area that you are allowing to receive booking new bookings in your calendar. So if you want to take the link for booking, just go here to this place and it's going to present the booking page. So when you click, it's going to open so you can share specifically this link. So uh, anyone can just book a, a time with you in your uh, calendar automatically. They don't need they just need to select to pick the time and that's it. So let me show you. It's presenting my basically my schedule here for this week. I can switch and see the best availability for Mauricio. So let's say on Tuesday he has a 3 p.m. So let's schedule 3 p.m. He's going to present a, a little form so they can put their details. It's presenting my here because I'm logged. Uh, also the phone number. They can type the phone number here and just book time. That's it. Super simple, super easy. So they can also cancel. Now, if you go to your calendar, uh, your calendar, you can see that the time is just right here in the in your calendar automatically. So this is pretty nice. It's going to save lots of time in your routine. All right. So let me show you how to create this right now. As I'm using the free version, if you try to create a new one, this is the way that you can create a new uh, schedule slot. OK, so if you try to create a new appointment schedule, it's going to present a premium here because I already have one. OK, but as soon as I delete here, if you are part of uh, Google One, that is the option that they have, uh, you pay on the personal level and you have uh, options for more space and some other things on the enhanced meetings, etc. Uh, this is nine dollars per month, a ten dollars per month. You are able to create multiples. OK, uh, but let me delete this one so I can show you the process. OK, let me delete uh, all the ones. OK, all right. So now I don't have and if I try to go here, I'm going to see this option. OK, so let me create the option so you can see that I can put a name. Let's say you have one for just meeting or meeting 60 minutes. You can define something like that. So let's say meeting 60 minutes. Uh, OK, so you can define here the duration. Let's say it's a 30 minutes, 60 minutes. So I put here one hour. OK, so it's going to present here. Here is the uh, for example, specifically on the, the time that you are available, you are going to accept times bookings. OK, so let's say I'm going to allow just in the afternoon like this. OK, and what you can do, you can copy like this. OK, so when you click on copy, they are taking this one and copy for the other days. OK, but if you want, you are free to change. Let's say on Thursday, I'm just accepting bookings from four to seven or six. OK, whatever you can define or let's say on Wednesday, I'm not accepting this. You can just click here It's going to remove. So you are not available. All right. Uh, this is the time zone that you are in schedule window. So you have additional parameters. So, for example, if someone can schedule right now or if they they they, for example, when they are going to show 60 days, OK, maximum time so they can roll out uh, for a 60 day maximum. OK, in your calendar, they can see uh, minimum time before. So you have some other parameters to adjust. OK, uh, also availability. You can 
specific uh, some dates that that were available in specific dates outside of those ones that is marked here so you can put okay in that day i'm gonna attend on the morning part as well so you can define here okay some other options okay in terms of buffer time uh when they are scheduling between one and others okay so you can explore uh, and the cal calendar that is gonna uh, is gonna be checked, okay? Again, so let's say you have several calendars for, for work, for personal, for family. Uh, if you are in the paid version, you are able to check in all of those calendars that you mark, okay? So it's additional option. And the color that is gonna appear your particular uh, time slot. Okay, uh, next, some additional parameters in terms of booking page and photo. Uh, if it's uh, in person, if it's an online meeting, so for example, if it's an online meeting, you can opt, opt for Google Meet. So this way, it will create automatically a Google Meet link. This way, it's easy. They are, they are going to receive and they just click on the in the link and that's it. Super easy for conference. You can put a description if you want, booking form. This is nice because you can define a form. You can collect information before the meeting. So let's say you want uh, also the phone number. You can add the phone number or additional fields that you want. Let's say you, you want to collect a budget for project. Let's say I'm going to add a phone number and make this required. Okay, so this is going to present on the form. Payment, you can collect payment if you are in the premium version connected with Stripe. Okay, you can also do this. Uh, and uh, confirmations. Okay, so this is also on the paid plan. Okay, so that's it. Let me save it. Super easy. Now I have my booking slot ready. Okay, I can start clicking here and share my, my link. Okay, to my audience. This way they can book a time with me. Okay, also you have the option for website embed. So if you wanna present this in your website under your domain, okay, like for example, scheduling or a meeting, okay, uh, under your domain, you can do it, okay? It's a nice way as well. You can put a, like a pop-up or also embed it in the page, okay? For here, let me just copy the link. Now it's ready. Uh, let me open a new window, I can paste. And now you can see that I'm in an anonymous window. Okay, so whatever it is in an anonymous window or in a mobile, I can open and see the booking page. And also I can select any time here that is being presented. So it's now, let's say on Monday, I wanna book a four. Uh, it's gonna present here. So let's say uh, Carlos Mingos, Carlos at test at gmail.com and any number all right so when we book here okay carlos 6th of november great i can see just if i go here i can see that uh, it's just right here the book okay pretty nice pretty straightforward you don't you don't need to have the calendly okay you can have both as well if you want more slots okay you can have some sessions through calendly you can also use here okay so you're gonna have two let's say one for six minutes another for 30 minutes okay you can have different links for those uh but yeah use this one if you are as i said if you are using the business version you can you can create several slots like this okay for 60 minutes 30 minutes 15 minutes any specific slot that you need okay i hope you enjoy this video start to using it put in practice and save time in your routine, okay? Uh, if you like this video, if you want, we have different kinds of uh, trainings to help uh, speed up and gain productivity. Take a look on the links below if you are interested, okay? And see you in the next video. Thank you, bye-bye.